Hello my name is Sub-Zero Xtabyte and I am shooting right back at you with another video. Today is going to be a fun video and it is going to be very special. We are going to have a lot of fun and by that I mean that we're going to try and break some bedrock that might not sound that special but I can promise you that it is going to be very special. Now this is going to be a new experience for me because I have not tried this in forever so please just hang on tightly so we can start and have some fun. Now we have been launched into the world of Minecraft. But of course that is something that you guys already knew right? Well right now we are inside of the Minecraft Alpha. I mean who of you guys can honestly say that they have been around long enough to have played the Minecraft Alpha? That is just the best thing ever to be honest. But that might just be me. So right now actually we are getting right back into that nostalgic feeling again. I know that I have talked about this a lot lately. But this is just something that instantly gets me back into a younger Sub-Zero man. But you maybe be wondering right now like... Well sub what in the world are you doing right now? Just doing something reckless like getting wood like this. Just out of pure boredom. Well yes and no. I mean kind of yes, but really no. I mean there have been a lot of people trying to steal my stuff lately. And I really do not think that this is that chill at all. So I am going to find some places where I can put my chests. Without anyone knowing about it. So that they do not know where my chests are. And when they do not know where my chests are, well that means that they cannot go and steal stuff out of the chests, who they do not know the location of. So I know that this is like the most wonderful idea ever, even though it might be just a little overdoing it. But I really do not care about that, because I just want people to stay out of my chests. And as you can see I am willing to go to the ends of the earth to get this done right now. I mean people need to stay out of my chests for a second or two. Because I do not even have any stuff left for myself. Now all of this crafting is taking a really long time and I kind of have got a solution for this. So today we are on a farm with a lot of animals. I am kidding I was just roaming around a bit trying to look for some cool spots to shoot some stuff for this video. And by shoot I mean shooting with a camera like I am doing right now but that is besides the point so today we are experimenting with some more of those extended workbenches I mean the last time that we did that it was a pretty great success in my opinion and I am hoping to achieve some with the same results this time only with some new weapons and things like that so without a further ado we will be heading back to my little shed that I have built since my other Minecraft house got blown up again I mean what a surprise right it seems like that is just part of the new weekly slur or something. I mean it is just very sad that this keeps happening to me but like I always say L-I-F-E-G-O-E-S-O-N. Life goes on people. That is a song by Noah and the Whale honestly. Now next to seeing all of the new stuff right here I will be doing just a little bit more because I feel like I owe this to all of you guys out there. I mean we have not been talking about life as much lately so you know I just want you guys to know what I've been up to and such and I just want to talk a little bit to you guys and show some interaction. Because you know the time of the year has come again and we have had our summer where the days start to get a little shorter now but the sun starts to shine just a little less often not that it is much but hey beggars cannot be choosers I guess but yeah so I will be testing a lot of things today and I will be talking about myself a lot today so you will just have to watch out for that because this is going to be great right now and I can pretty much assure you of that well actually I should not have to because you guys should know that we are going to be having a lot of fun because that is just what we do around here and it is just amazing if you ask Ask me right now so let's get started with everything now shall we you guys let's go I should pack it up and move it somewhere else but I will not go and do that because that looks like just a little bit too much of a hassle which is not what I am looking for right now because if I have got to work even more on this thing I will probably end up losing my mind over it which is not what I am looking for right now so I am just going to go ahead and get this all over with so that I can actually get some stuff done instead of trying to be a builder and a talker at the same time time because my words will not feed my mouth right now or ever actually but then again why not right I mean my words are actually filling my mouth but that just sounds weird so I am just going to cut that off right there and start talking about something else like nothing ever happened right here my god I can be so awkward at times for some reason so next thing that is up on my little short list of things that you should be applying to your mining when you really want this to have a hard feel to it yeah that sounded weirder than it should 
but we have to grind so no time for that. So let's just hope that no one will use this to try and conquer the world because that might just be the end of my majestic big freaking workbench and its items that I need for it. I mean come on I am not going to let people use my creation for destruction pain and suffering. That is not my code man, that is not what I am about. So you know. Maybe that is just for the better that I have built it on the top of a freaking big mountain. Just so that people will think twice of actually going up there to create stuff for my crafting bench. But like I said I am going to be making it my life's goal to make sure that this thing will be running forever. Or at least longer than 5 minutes. So I will be needing a lot of resources and that is the exact thing that I am going to be looking for right now. I will be needing to make sure that I actually get some resources and of course enough resources to keep the thing busy. Because I am not sure if it actually will be devouring stuff faster or not. I just know that it should be able to hold a lot more stuff than a usual work BENHC. I mean, a normal crafting bench can only make one thing at a time as of right now. And this thing, well I hope that it will be doing a lot more than that. Well I guess that building this thing will probably give me some directions. So with just starting the project I guess I could say that I am halfway done already right. I mean it is not like some Lego build. This is some serious big freaking workbench space that I am about to go and construct. So forgive me if it takes like an insane amount of time to finally get done because you know, I am learning on the fly with this thing. So maybe you could just build along with me, since I am going to be building this thing like slow as poop. And that might not help with the interesting part of the video but I mean, at least we can all have a little learning experience by building something like this. So let's say that we can actually build a crafting bench that is big enough to make like an insane amount of stuff in it. I am building this thing on the top of a freaking mountain, so I am not sure if that will actually help me in the building process but I am going with the fact that it probably will not help me with that. So let's just hope that we do not end up falling down or anything. But now that I am actually building it on top of from all over the world and they will be bringing all their stuff and resources and they will be coming here to use my huge workbench to actually come and create all of this stuff. It actually reminds me of the Lord of the Rings. Everyone is coming to Mount Doom. But unlike the Lord of the Rings well I am inviting everyone to come over and bring stuff to cook and craft because you know I do not even remotely have enough stuff to cook and craft in this thing. So I am going to be needing all the help that we can get to actually get the worth out of this freaking bench. And that is just the manufacturing costs that I am talking about. Since you know, I am not doing this for free. I want something in return. And the only thing that I want in return for this thing is some respect and of course the fact that people will come here and actually start using this thing because otherwise this will just be a monumental failure and I would be building a freaking huge workbench basically for nothing so I guess that it should be fully operational once I have all of the items and I can finally start finishing this awesome thing instead of reinventing it we just made a bigger freaking version of a normal workbench that is awesome I am just in all right now I would have never thought that I would actually be able to build something that looks this majestic but you know how it is beggars cannot be choosers but today we have shown that we are not mere beggars no we have shown the people that we are a force to be reckoned with so behold the mighty crafting bench bow for it or you will be regretting it for the rest of your mortal life because this thing will be standing here even when you are long gone as long as it can feast on items to make and stuff to craft and for the rest well it really does not care about anything we just need something to put into it so that it has something to actually do instead of just hanging around here but like i said that does not matter one bit because i will be personally making sure that we can do this and that we are actually able to craft and make enough stuff to end poverty and that stuff but of course we need a lot of items for that so that will basically become my life's goal i mean i really like to procrastinate and do things on the down low because that is just who i am and i mean i am kind of known for missing the point and just rambling and ranting about other stuff like i am doing right now which is not a good thing to do in my opinion. And no one wants to walk around all day listening to me ran about random stuff right? That is nonsense. I mean why walk around listening to me we can be trumping that is like is the best of thing ever and I'm not kidding. I am not sure what I meant by that. But I am just going to roll with it no matter what. So what do you guys think of video thus far? I mean I really like it. So I'm hoping to you guys will like this video as well. 
otherwise this would all be for naught and we would not win that I mean I do not win that. Now I am not the best person in Minecraft or anything on YouTube but at least I try. So I have got that going on which is nice. Now of course you might be thinking why are we doing all of this right now? Well I mean we could have been doing anything but I am pretty sure that you guys knew that by now. I mean I am betting that this is not the first time that you guys are watching my videos. And if this actually is the first time that you are watching my videos, then in that case I want to welcome you to my channel and this is basically all that I do. I fool around in different games such as Roblox and Minecraft. And when I am playing Minecraft I am usually struggling pretty hard because I have got this plague with a bunch of Minecraft noobs who join my Minecraft world and they end up fooling around with my house and my past couple of houses have all been blown up by some type of noob who joined me and I just wanted to show those guys around. So I have never been an angry person or anything against those people just because that is really not something that I do but for some reason some people like to just suck out the blood from underneath of my nails and I will be the one to blame for it because then I am stuck with another blown up condo and I can start moving again and building a new place for myself that was a little summary about all the bad things that have happened to me since I started playing Minecraft again after some time so please if you are a noob and you are able to join my Minecraft world then of course feel free to do so. But then again do not go around blowing stuff up because I really do not appreciate something like that and I would rather have you guys to just play along with me than to go around in a bad and blowing up my house and all of my stuff. Which is just not cool but I think that you could be able to imagine that for yourself. But of course that might just be me and my amazing intellectual thinking and such. That is how intellectual I am about all of these things right now. I just start to talk all such of gibberish that no one understands and neither do I so I am just going to act like none of this ever happened and that we are able to go without all of that and just go on and make some more extended tools and just get done with all of this because every time that I am recording something the chance of a noob joining my minecraft world gets increased by a thousand percent or something I mean right now I could use someone to help me with all of the coal mining that I am doing right now but that is just about it for what I have to do so since that is like literally the only thing that I have to do on a daily basis basis, then I will just do it on my own you guys, so no worries about that. And of course with this extended pickaxe I am able to just swing around me like Gimli that dwarf from the Lord of the Rings and I can just do whatever I want with it. Meaning that whenever I am done with all of that mining maybe I can just do some more extended thing stuff, you know. Oh my that sentence was really off the charts right there. Think stuff is by far my favorite set of words that I have used throughout this entire video. But that will not combat the fact that all of this is making me really happy because for once everything that I am doing in Minecraft is not having any kinds of negative effect on what I am doing in here. And there has yet to join a new noob. So I am just buying the time that I have without a noob and I am living it like the free man that I am. So without a doubt I am feeling just great right now. I mean if you were able to see me smile right now then you would see that I am smiling. I mean that is pretty obvious but it was not meant that way. Even though it is still pretty obvious of course. But after doing some intense inventory work I have found out that I will be needing around a thousand times a dozen more of that leather so I am hoping that you guys will excuse me so that I can go out and make amends with some cows in the neighborhood so that I can craft some more extended crafting stuff in my extended crafting bench made for crafting extended stuff. Yeah that's sounded about right. There is just a lot of extended crafting going on in this video but right now it is time to move to the cows. But that means that I will actually have to find some cows. But okay with all of that being done I am actually pretty tired from all the cow stuff that I had to do back there so I am just going back to the condo and I am going to do some more inventory work to see if I actually have all of my stuff. Alright we collected some more resources so now it is time for us to get back to the house and see if we can actually make something cool with it. Because I am still wondering and trying to figure out how to actually build something with this thing. I mean have you even taken a look at this thing? It is not just huge but it is also pretty freaking complicated to actually do something with it. So in that case you know it actually really reminds me of the bigger crafting table that we made a couple of months back. I mean it was basically just a bigger template of all the stuff that we already had. But you know, 
We cannot make too much of that. We just need to get on with it and make something cool with this thing. Otherwise I am about to leave everything behind and just never look back on this thing. Let's just hope that I do not end up losing my mind over this thing, because I am really afraid that I actually end up just really stressed out and at that point I am pretty sure that this thing will come and haunt me in my dreams. Which would really be kind of a bummer in my case. Because sleep is something that I really kind of enjoy doing from time to time. And by time to time. I mean twice a day and sometimes three but that depends on what kind of breakfast I had but I still cannot figure out how to actually build something with this thing that was it for today I hope that you still enjoyed it